hello in this video let's create floors let's go to project example and for floors creation we will use tool which is called floors you can choose architecture structure floors in this case we will create architecture floors for this purpose you should create elevation level building architecture second floor three meters and in this location we will create floors so i go to this uh, level plan it is located in floor plans architecture floor plans and first i activate floor tool in this case i can use uh, this tool pick walls or i can use any other drawing tools to create floors so i can select using tab the walls i press this tool and it automatically catches the core boundary of the wall so the floor should be on the core on the structure material on the bearing part of the floor next i select my floor construction so in this case i use simple floor it is created from three parts so first part is architecture layers which represent all the layers which is on the structure part next part is structure layer for my concrete slab and the uh, layer finish layer in the bottom which is for the finish I press OK. If I need, I can fill all other information. Select the type is interior and press OK. OK. And my floor will be structure. I put check mark here and I can just press this finish button and it creates me that floor. And I select my floor, I go to 3D model and I press this button and I see my floor is created in this location. This location. I can use this tool and I can check if my floor is nicely on the bearing part. If yes, so next part I need to join all, modify, join all the layers so everything joins correctly to each other and I check it from all the sides okay so my floor is created correctly I can create floor plan in the floor plan it is recommended to edit uh, these tools and just to Let's say put 100 in the cutting plane and minus 3, minus, well, let's say 0 and minus 3, 10 according to our floor thickness. If I want to show just uh, the floor part, so I can put here zeros and I can see only the floor 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 part on, on the wall and also I can see some walls which is beneath my floor uh, for cutting purpose I can put minus 10 okay nothing happened So in this case, I can say my walls is transparent. And let's say cut line is represented by dash line, blue color. And I don't see, don't want to see any 
cache patterns. And let's change a little bit more. Walls and maybe I want to see it in course representation. So now I have my floor here and I see walls in the course representation. So I can do the same the lines on the top. And I don't see any, I don't want to see any any hedge patterns here also. Yeah, so I clipped and nicely I see only the floor part. If I want I can put some catch pattern which is which better represents my my floors in this plan so I understand uh, how the floors are presented so pattern let's put some catch yeah so here I can see my uh, floors and I can put my dimensions on the floor. When I put my dimensions, it's better to easily object. Uh, okay, let's isolate just categories. Okay. And if I put the dimensions, I can measure nicely floors. Okay, also I need dimension category. Isolate category and I connect my floors to grid lines And of course, I need to connect the openings to grid lines. Let's go back. And here is nice representation of my floors. Architecture floor plan. So I had all, all the needed information which describes floor geometry for structure engineer and Let's put additional parts at uh, top level, top elevation. I don't need any marks. And I can say top, top, top indicator, top elevation.
Okay, so top elevation, I have this file, and let's say this is nice looking floor plan for structural engineer. He can see all the geometry, all the openings, and he can create his structure floor plan.